Hello, hi everyone. Uh, welcome to this webinar. Uh, webinar is called Booking Challenge, and we will see some methodologies to do competitor analysis uh, between different uh, products in the same uh, area. So, uh, first of all, we will present ourselves, ourselves as a, as a company. So, we, we, me and Laura, we will work in the in the product team of uh, Anges. And uh, I guess uh, if you, you don't know it, it's uh, the crowdsourcing platform. Uh, we do uh, we test uh, products uh, from the quality quality point of view and from a UX point of view with a crowd of real testers. So we we use the, the power we have unleashed the, the power of this uh, tribe that is called Triber to 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 test the the quality of the of the products so the, we 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 work in a in a very competitive arena but we have some something that could uh, could uh, could do as some some advantage uh, confronting with other with other players because we have three main main focus the technology our platform is uh, very flexible and it's easy to 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 use and it's also integrated with other other platforms uh, we have people. We have the, the tribe, our our testers. Uh, that is a, a tribe of uh, re real people. We we know uh, them personally. Our test leader work with them every day. So uh, they are not bought. Uh, <laughs> so we, we can we can have a very tailored solution for every uh, product testing with real people, and we 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 have strong methodologies. So. We can use different methodologies uh, depending of the of the needs of the of the client. So we can do very fast and effective uh, testing, and we also we, we can test in different uh, areas of the world. So we we don't, we don't have problem about uh, industries or uh, geographies. So we, we we can test everything in everywhere. Uh, now presenting me and Laura, we, we work uh, together in the, the, the product team. Uh, Laura is, uh, is a UX design researcher, and she, she worked in a, in a consultant agency before before working with, with us in Angus uh, for telco, fashion, and automotive. And she is a, a research nurse. She, she likes so much the research world, and she, she loves to study new methodologies and to test it directly in the, in the, in the work environment. And me, uh, I'm Alessandro. I I worked for many years in, in this sector. I worked in uh, startups and uh, in, in agency, and I'm a community lover. So I, I try to, to be in every design community all around the world. And uh, if, if there is an event, a design event, probably uh, you will find me in there. So starting from the, the the use case that we are presenting today, we will present a particular methodology that is called uh, competitive uh, benchmark competitor testing. So, is uh, um, a moderating summative evaluation that start uh, evaluating quantitative data in uh, in solution. So, we will test different players and different product of the same area, uh, and we ask to, the, the the tester to do uh, something, and we ask them to rate their opinion before during and after the test. So uh, what is the, 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 the importance of this, this methodology? It's easy to, for, for this methodology to, to test and confront our product with other in the same uh, competitive arena. And uh, uh, it's easy to identify the product strengths and weaknesses. Uh, so we, we can uh, confront our, uh, our product to, to the other. And we, we can also use it to uh, evaluate uh, the major design change or new features. So we can test easily uh, comparing it with other, other products. And it's very important because we can have some UX metrics to integrate the business KPIs. Usually we have uh, business KPIs like uh, char rate, uh, and now we can have also some UX metrics to have a complete evaluation of our product. Uh, what we will uh, do in this particular case, uh, we start, start st having a look in the um, uh, booking flight uh, area. So we start uh, choosing the eight competitors in this arena with this, these logs. And we, we we've evaluate the quality perceived by the users uh, with a single task. So we ask the people to, to, to book a flight for two pe pe persons uh, from Milan to Barcelona and to decide what is the, 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 the most, uh, the, the, the cheaper uh, flight. 
And uh, only with this test, we can uh, have so many insights from the quantitative uh, point of view. Uh, and, and then we, we, we're going to have also something uh, from a qualitative uh, part. So uh, what is our panel? Well, what, how we decide to, to, have, uh, to, to, to choose testers? We, we decide to, to test it with 25 people with a medium average of uh, age, so 35, uh, in the 15 male and, and 10 female. And uh, we, we prefer to test, uh, especially from desktop, because we see, we, we also started some, uh, some works about it, that people usually uh, use uh, desktop and mobile in the same way to, to, to look at the flights, but when we have, they have to, 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 to the book, uh, directly they prefer to do uh, with desktop and also we, we have this kind of information uh, directly for our testers uh, when we go uh, asking them uh, other question uh, not only the the, the ethnographic one uh, they, they ask them how do you prefer to to, to book the fight and the, the the majority of people say that they, they book it from directly from desktop and uh, usually we, we try to have a, a medium standard of uh, of uh, ability of uh, booking a flight so we, we have people that book a fine from three to six times a year in, in average. Okay, what is the, the, the procedure that we, we used? So st we start uh, contacting them and set up the participants. So we, we give them uh, the, the studio objective and the, the, the task pr procedure. Uh, then we have some pretest test questionnaires. So we, we start asking them about their expect expectations. Then we have the, 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 the test, the, the, the main part of the, of the, the process. And then we have uh, asked the, um, the participants to have some, uh, some surveys because we wanted to, to know how they feel about their experience in the, doing that task and about their opinion in general about the, 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 the product. Uh, okay, start uh, speaking about metrics. That is you know, the main core of the quantitative part of this uh, this uh, methodology. So we started uh, ask uh, for uh, two expected uh, UX metrics. So the easy of use uh, expected. So how easy would they, would they think the performing the, the task would be, and uh, uh, an expected duration. So we we ask them. Uh, from different ranges, what uh, how they think that will all the process will last. Uh, then we have uh, some metrics that are objective because they are directly me measured during the, the test, like the time to complexion and the number of clicks. So I know that the number of clicks is uh, a thing that is very discussed in, the, in, in, our, in our communities. Uh, but we, we like to, to measure everything, then we decide if there is, is relevant or not the, 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 sort of the, the result of uh, these, these metrics. Uh, then, we started uh, uh, measuring also metrics uh, uh, after with the survey. So the first one is about uh, uh, perceived. So how they, they think that the, the all the process will be used uh, will be easy. So the, the perceived the easy of use, the confidence in how they, they are confident that they have to achieve the goal of the task, and also the perceived duration. So how, how much they think uh it was a uh, very fast or, or or not so fast everything uh, all these metrics are measured in a scale from one to seven so the one is the the the, the worst uh solution and for the seven is the the best one then we the the, the four last metrics are about subjective so the, the opinion of the users about the, the solution so the first one is about satisfaction how they think that the, the feature of the, of the product uh, meet their needs. Uh, the second is about the quality of information, uh, how they think that is accurate, the, the information of the website. Uh, there is one about the, the accurateness, so the, the, the design pleasure of uh, the, the graphic design appropriate from the website, yes or no. And uh, an, AP, an APS, that is a uh, net promoter score, so how would they recommend this to, to a friend? Okay, this is the, 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 the theory. Now we're going dive to, to the data that is the, the most interesting part of the, of the, of the, the process. So um, the expectations. So we ask them uh, how they think will be use, easy and how they think will, will be uh, the, the duration. So the, we see that they have an average of uh, 5.88 
uh, of uh, easy of use. So the, our users think expect that the, the would be quite easy to to to, to book a flight. And uh, uh, the, the expectation of time is a, is a little longer about what we think uh, before, because many people are uh, put in the, in the, the medium range is uh, like two to five minutes and uh, five to 10 minutes. So uh, they think we will be not so uh, short process. So the expectation is like this. Now we are going to confront with, uh, compare, sorry, with the, the real uh, data. So and uh, the the first the first uh, uh, complaint and, and this we are the, we have the, the the objective data. So this is the, the thing that we measure. This is the first data that we present also with the logos of the of the brand the the, the, the win in this case. This uh, I don't know the race is not a race, but. <laughs> uh, we don't want to, to 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 put every every logo in because we, we prefer to to present only the, the the first three because it's not a matter of saying this this is good this is this is not good is a, a thing of, of measuring things and showing how the methodologies work so uh, every every competitor in this in this panel worked very well so we, we find that uh, users are very satisfied you will see uh, about every every solution but we we, we are like a, like a, a little game we, we wanted to present the the, the, the first uh, logos so the, the we see that the time to completion is is quite quite well distributed. We have an average of ninety two seconds, so very very few re respect uh, what they think uh, previously, and also the number of cl clicks is quite standard. So we start the the, the, the less clicks are ten point five, and uh, the the more longer is thirteen point eight, and so uh, the the flows we, we we see the flows are very similar one to the other. So uh, it's not a matter of doing the the flow too too long, but I, I we will see that the the. the the important, the most important thing will be the, the details of this flow. So it's not a matter of, of clicks. Then starting comparing the the time of completion, uh, comparing the the expectation time of completion with the the, the time uh, to to completion. Really, we'll see that the completion time uh, it's uh, very very uh, below uh, than what we are expected. So uh, the the users. Think that it, it, this this operation will last very long, confronting what what we, we the, the 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 objective data that, that we we will arrive. So uh, we we can also think that uh, users are not so focused about the the the, the velocity the of the, of the operations, and we we have if we have to to invest something of uh, of improvement of our products is not f focusing totally on, on on the velocity of the of the of the flow but investing more in in the quality and so in the small interaction and things that make the the all the user flow better then uh compa comparing the the easy of use and uh, and uh, the expected and the, the real easy of use perceived uh, we see that is easy, but also very easier than what they expect. So, uh, other thing that we notice that it's uh, every platform, as I said before, uh, it reached a very high standard interaction, and so everything is very simple, and the user likes it very, very much. Then, uh, comparing the perceived duration. Uh, we'll see that uh, the, the confidence, sorry, and the, and the perceived duration. So we'll see that uh, all these these data are very positive. So people uh, have a very high confidence uh, about the the, the 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 meeting of their needs to the to, to the um, to the real uh, real flow, and uh, the, uh, also the perception of dur duration is uh, very good. Also, if we expected also very bad result confronting what they expect, uh, so we will see that, that the, the the time is not a very very important uh, data for uh, for for the final users. Then. Uh, going to the the last four uh, question, the, the last four days, uh, 
uh, about uh, the satisfaction, the quality of information, and the attractive uh, net promoter score, we'll see that uh, we start seeing a pattern in in the solution. So the the the, the products that are uh, judged better in uh, in one field usually are judged better also in the other. So we think that uh, the metrics are very homogeneous. So uh, we think that users uh, create. Uh, an idea of the the quality of uh, of the product and, tr and tend to uh, put them in in every question. So uh, it, we see that e dreams uh, booking TripAdvisor are in the first step uh, every time. So uh, we see with uh, about the satisfaction and the quality information. We have uh, also in this in this uh, case we have a very high uh, votes. So. People are satisfied, and they think that the quality of information is is very good. And also, the the last two uh, confirmed us the the, the, the positive uh, attitude of, of the user about the whole solution, and also the pattern that the the, the, the best one are quite the quite the, the same at every time. Uh, okay, this is a, a small overview about the all all data. And oh, what we we find, oh, what are our findings about this this data? So the first one is about the duration. As I said before, uh, the duration is much shorter than uh, shorter than expected. So uh, is not very different from one one product to the other, but every every one is very below the expected during the test. As I said before, the the, the duration is not a core data for the user. They prefer to, to, to focus on other things and not on duration. The second finding on this test is uh, that a low, a low number of clicks alone is not an index of quality. So as we said before, the, the, the number of clicks, it could be important. But we see that the, the one that has the lower number of clicks are not the same product that are uh, considered the best in the other uh, in the other aspects so the, the the most important thing is focusing about the quality and not about the the the, the, the number of clicks that could be uh, a ux might uh, that we usually we say the less clicks is better not every time it's 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 more important to to focus uh, about the quality of the interaction and the third finding is about the distribution of positive opinions. So the, the, the evaluation uh, of a very um, homogeneous distribution. So we think that every single uh, thing of our product could, could uh, help creating for the user a good or a bad uh, sometime uh, opinion about all the products. So we have to focus on everything of little things, little details that because our user, uh, when this, they decide that our product is good, they think that it is good for every particular aspect. So it's important to, 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 to create a good products. And uh, we, we arrive at these findings, but we would think that there is something that uh, miss. So we have many hows, but we, we, we lack the whys. So uh, this kind of methodology, the, the benchmark of pattern analysis, could can give us a lot of information, quantitative data, but we, we don't we don't know how, why people prefer one solution one, or, or one product or the other. So we, we, we decide uh, to, to, to analyze the user flow in detail. So we, we, we start uh, having another kind of, uh, of methodologies to, 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 to do in together with the, the, the quantitative one. That is the, the, the qualitative one that could help us to understand everything. So we start having a qualitative investigation I want to say to, to, to Laura to, to explain us how. Thank you, Alessandro, and hello, everyone. So talking about the qualitative investigation, uh, that was the second phase of our research and uh, helped us uh, to understand the why and the hows beyond that matrix. 
and we uh, conducted this investigation uh, with a smaller cluster uh, than the first one. We um, asked uh, to uh, only 10 people to perform the test, uh, but we tried to respect uh, the gender and the vice uh, um, relationships and um, Mm, uh, that we have in uh, the the first uh, the first phase of the the research. Uh, what was the methodology that we used? Uh, we used uh, the competitive usability test, and we performed it uh, in an unmoderated and thinking aloud mode. Uh, so let's let's see which are the benefits of uh, of this kind of test. Uh, talking of uh, its specifics. Uh, so uh, uh, we can start by by defining what is a competitive usability test. A competitive usability test uh, is a test that is based on um, asking uh, to the users to perform one or more uh, identical and representative task on each uh, competitor side of, uh, of your choice. This methodology allow, uh, allow you uh, to compare the effectiveness and efficiency of the different uh, designs and solution and products. Um, it's very helpful because uh, you can reduce the implementation risk uh, for example, if you think about a scenario in which uh, you have seen that your competitor are trying uh, to uh, implement new features or had implemented a specific new feature in uh, their product, and you want to understand if this feature is worth the implementation cost, you can perform a competitive usability test to understand what is the um, the attitude that you uh, your users uh, have toward these uh, these features. And this this kind of test it is also useful to uh, understand motivation and observe uh, observe behaviors in general. Um, and uh, so uh, uh, defining uh, that that whys uh, that we are uh, we were talking about, and by collecting these insights, you can of course add value to your product. Uh, we choose to conduct this kind of experiments in an unmoderated way. Uh, as you may know, uh, you can conduct an um, usability. Uh, test in uh, unmoderated or moderated mode and the difference uh, is the presence of the researcher. If the researcher is not moderating uh, the testing sections, you have an unmoderated user test. And uh, so um, the instructions that the user received uh, in a, in a moderated user test by the researcher um, in the moderated mode are uh, given before and uh, we uh, we record uh, the video of the interactions of the users with the product so uh, you finally get a video recording of the users performing the tasks uh, it's an interesting uh, interesting uh, methodology because you can save time of uh, experiment conductions be, because you have not to be present and also you can collect data in a few hours because you have no uh, time or space constraints because it's completely remote uh, mode. Um, but in order to be successful and an unmoderated usability test has to be performed by the users in thinking aloud. Um, uh, you have to ask the participant of the test to uh, think aloud. 
uh, so to uh, verbalize the, their thoughts while they are uh, interacting uh, with the with the product, and uh, this helps helps you to uh, spot um, user mis uh, misconceptions or um, understand uh, understanding why a user likes or dislikes a features, and also. Um, uh, because in an unmotivated user task that is also in thinking aloud, you are not participating during the task. This is a low risk research activity because uh, you uh, cannot um, influence or uh, guide uh, the, the users. Uh, conduct the users uh, and you you cannot uh, make the test uh, not not uh, not rely reliable by interfering with, with it um, so um, moving to the the analyzing phase how we uh, decide to analyze the the data collected um, the first thing we have done is um, to uh, define a focus of the analysis uh, thinking about uh, the task that we are um, asking asking our users to perform uh, so if uh, the task and the goal was to uh, choose a flight uh, to booking a uh, ticket um, so maybe what we want to understand uh, what uh, um, has to be our focus in this case for the research is how do uh, people determine which ticket with uh, which uh, flight to to book to, to choose what what uh, which are the, the parameters for the choice uh, after you have defined a research focus you can uh, um, also define uh, some Sussex criteria that are applicable to the products uh, uh, that you are investigating that are related to this research focus uh, and in our case uh, given that uh, um, the task we are asking the user to perform was both a um, um, decision making one and an operational one uh, we decided to um define two criteria uh for the decision making part uh the the criteria uh is was uh to have uh, sufficient and pertinent information the service uh, service as to provide the users with clear and transparent data to um let them make the the right decisions and uh, from the operational side uh the perceived time efficiency uh so how the the services will uh, will able will be able to respond to the user needs um how uh, the the um, the quality of the interaction uh, and uh, of the user experience um make the the frictions be less visible and uh, um, make the waiting times uh, to to be also more visible or more uh, less visible or uh, less painful um, this this success criteria uh, that uh, tends to be uh, generical um can be verticalized in uh, inherent factors uh, in, inherent to the context to the type of services and uh, our inherent factors were three the first how the parameters of choice were presented how uh, the product the site displays prices schedules luggage informations the the second how loyalty programs and uh, non sit uh, uh were merchandised uh, 
did they interfere with the task and with the clarity of the information? And uh, last but not least, uh, how many frictions were there? How many pages? How many um, steps? How many pop-ups the users had to go through to uh, complete the, uh, the task to um, successfully accomplish the, their goal? And now, <laughs> uh, after we, uh, we, we, we discussed uh, how, how we, uh, we have analyzed the data, we can uh, move to uh, present to you some findings. Uh, what we have learned, um, we, we have discovered defined uh, six rules tips that can be useful to apply in the in this context in this competitive arena and uh, you may recognize in uh, these tips the heuristics uh, rules of thumbs and this is not a case they they exist for reasons you know uh, but uh, we have noticed how these uh, these rules are applied and uh, how they express them themselves uh, in uh, in our context in the, in the context of flight booking uh, so the first tip the first rule try to anticipate user needs of course to anticipate user needs you have to know them so you have to investigate you have to do some research but when you um, understand uh, which kind of information your user need, need to make a decision and in which time um, your users need uh, need this information and and you are able to provide it then you have a great competitive advantage uh, on the other uh, competitors uh, in our case um, was very relevant the information um, regarding the in uh, the luggage uh, if it was uh, included or not on the price of the flight uh, and this information when it was presented directly in the results page it was very very likely to be noticed and uh, appreciated by the users and second t uh give it an extra page we we have noticed that the metrics were very homogeneous and this is maybe also because uh in, in this competitive arena everyone is following the same uh design patterns so when you are applying the same design patterns when you uh, your ui is very similar to uh, the UI uh, of your competitors, uh, you have to, uh, as Alessandro was saying before, um, pay attention to details. So try to focus on uh, uh, micro interactions to uh, deliver to your user a very, very smooth experience. Uh, third, Third tip, uh, we, we, we were talking about uh, a perceived, uh, um, perceived time to complete the, the task. Uh, it's, it's okay that in this context you, you have to uh, make your user wait a little to load a lot of results because you are comparing a lot of, of flights of options and prices uh, but when you are not able to reduce the time the loading time try at least to make it evident that there is some kind of waiting and the, the system is not broken but also make that time enjoyable and you can do it by using illustrations animation and um and other ui and visual elements uh for give user control in in this case you can give user control by providing them uh, precise and reliable information and as we were saying before transparent data don't uh, don't cover um, 
premium offers uh, 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 and don't present them as they uh, they were the uh, regular option, the regular price. Um, also, uh, please, in this case, repeat yourself when it, it is needed. One one thing that we noticed was that uh, um, users uh, were mm, very uh, very concerned about. Uh, the price of the flight. Uh, precisely, uh, they uh, go back and forth to uh, check if the price um, uh, stayed the same uh, from one step to another uh, or and, and so the, the services that display that information, display the, the price and schedule information at each step of the, the journey, uh, they were very, very appreciated because they reassured the user uh, that the price hasn't changed, that it was uh, everything okay. And... Um, in, in reassuring the user that everything is okay, please stay on the bright side and avoid using uh, uh, dark patterns. As I was saying before in um, talking about uh, giving transparent data, what we noticed uh, was that even if the users didn't recognize uh, at the first glance uh, that uh, some option presented by uh, as a um, default option was instead um, um, a, a, an offer or a premium option when they realize it, when they realize it that the information you are providing is not transparent or clear, they, uh, they uh, are more uh, inclined to, um, to judge you negatively because you are uh, wasting their time. Um, so, uh, we are going to see some example from, uh, uh, from uh, the, the videos and uh, some quotes uh, from our users to uh, understand better some of the rules and tips that I was discussing before. Uh, in this case, we see how the users, the user uh, is very, very happy uh, to see that there is a luggage icon that is saying to him that the luggage is include, included in the price. And also uh, other users were, mm, were very, very, uh, relieved in see that in seeing that there was some information about uh, COVID uh, rules uh, in the destination airport and uh, in the destination country, and this information were presented at the right time, uh, just a second before that the the user uh, asks. Uh, asked for them, and uh, these, these, uh, so this evidence is linked to uh, the, the anticipate user needs uh, tip. And uh, also, uh, I wanted to show you uh, the, the reassurance of presenting the information on each step and uh, the repeat yourself uh, tip that is a tip of maintaining consistency of data information uh, and how uh, this, um, this consistency uh, can reassure the, the user. Uh, the, uh, the user that, that was uh, performing the task, uh, she, uh, she repeated that uh, ah, the, the price is the same in essence change that that's very important for uh, for her in, in this case uh, this this is only two examples but uh we have more of this kind on on this topic so finally key takeaways on the methodology um talking about uh the the quantitative uh, part uh, phase and also the qualitative phase of the research what uh, what we can um, encourage you to do uh, 
starting by recruitment, uh, make sure your participants are representative of your target audience. You can do it by screening surveys and, uh, and then choosing uh, the more, more representative ones. Uh, then task, uh, tasks, um, write tasks, assign to the participant tasks that, um, that are clear problems to solve and also ask them to think aloud while they are performing the task. Uh, third point, very important, try to run a pilot study, especially in when you are doing an unmoderated user test. You have to be sure that the instructions you are providing to the users are very clear. Uh, for performances, don't just click, uh, count, um, count the number of clicks, uh, as uh, Alessandro was saying before, please. Uh, instead, try to uh, understand how much time the user spent to complete the task, but um, more, um, even more uh, important, uh, analyze their perceptions, how they perceived uh the interaction how they evaluate the experience uh, with your products and finally analysis we we have discussed uh success, success criteria and inherent factors you can use them to create a taxonomy taxonomy to analyze your your video your your data and then uh, synthesize uh, synthesize uh, synthesize them uh, and uh, uh, come through uh, come to insights uh, to present and to use for the for your product to be better so that was all and uh, uh, we are Alessandro Calan Caliandro and Laura Murabito uh, it was difficult to 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 move to Italiano as well. <laughs> confusing uh, but if you have some questions about the methodologies how how we conduct the research uh, and, and how and guess can uh, help you in um, improve your product you can write us at this uh, email address that you you see on, on the screen uh, thank you so much and thank you. see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.